Welcome, YouTubers, and today we're going to go back to the basics. I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 7 2013. I have a lot of videos I've put out. All of it will require that you root your Nexus, and we're going to use the Nexus Root Toolkit. All right, so just to start off with here, I'm going to show you about my tablet that I'm currently running Android 4.4.2, you know, the standard stock kernel. Nexus 7, there's nothing special about it, okay? There's my bill number. This is completely stock. If you go into here, there's no super user, there's nothing, all right? Come and head on over to the computer and um, uh, start working the Nexus Root Toolkit so y'all can see how this is done. All right, now that we're on our computer here, Nexus Root Toolkit, once again, um, I'll have some links down below that you can... Uh, take a look at or download so you can get this Nexus Root Toolkit on here. You want to root your Nexus. Alright, so after you um, download it and get it installed properly, you're going to come up to this screen right here. Alright, on your left here is your basic feed, your model type. Okay, you can change that. Now in here, you can see all these different model types. So I've gotten a few questions. Hey, does it do the regular Nexus 7, you know, the first edition? Why, yes it does. The version 2, that's what I have. Yes, it does. Mobile tablet version 2. Yes, it does. It's got all this. Nexus 10, it's all right here. It's really great. and It'll navigate you through. Like, see, I have the Wi-Fi tablet version 2. All right. And this is what build are you currently running? Well, I'm running. You go all the way down here. This is KOT49H. So you just click on that, and it'll guide you through from there, which is uh, what I have. So I click there. Auto detect. You can do that, or you can just hit apply and apply that to your um, toolkit here. Now, before you get going, you want to definitely, definitely make sure that you have your drivers installed. So before we start unlocking our Nexus here, we're going to go ahead and do a full driver um, initial setup. All right, as you go through these steps, it'll tell you all about how to set up your drivers and make sure you get everything running exactly the way you need to. So, so you got step one, step two, step three, and now step four here you do the full driver test now hit the full driver test so we're checking uh, a few things on this as you can see device connected and it's going to reboot my device so we can go ahead over here to the device and check out and see what kind of uh, see what it looks like on there alright on the device here that you see it is rebooting oh, there it goes again it's going to reboot it's making sure that I have uh, all the drivers that's required so as you can see it went through a quick fast boot there and, and um, now it's booting up like normal and once all the drivers are properly installed then I'm going to get on your computer um, that or on my computer here that everything is successful because right now it's just waiting for my device and the computer so we're going to go back to the computer and see what it has to say alright now we're back on the computer says waiting for your device now currently if you look over at your tablet you'll see that you're back on your um, unlock screen so it now has uh, detected and success look at that that's great that means your drivers are good to go alright so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna back on out of this now we're gonna start the good stuff the great the great part about having a Nexus is to unlock it so what we're gonna do is um, unlock now before I click on that it's going to wipe my device so everything on it's gonna be gone um, pictures anything internal it's all gone it's gonna wipe it as if you pulled it out of the box so please 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 if you need to do a backup you come over here and do yourself a quick backup or just go ahead and delete or move it all onto um, the cloud or something like that I don't you know just just get it get it off there you know wherever you need to put it so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go straight to unlock because I don't care about what's on it I'm getting rid of it so we're gonna go ahead and hit unlock it says the script will unlock your device enabling you to root it um, process will factory reset everything completely wiped uh, please take the necessary steps the reason why your Nexus pretty much wipes everything like a security setting it'll just knock it all out start from scratch no big deal so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK alright in order to unlock um, need to be in bootloader mode first um, from a completely powered off state you can easily manually boot your device press and hold the volume up would you like to would you like the script to automatically boot your device 
um, for you. Um, actually, I would. So let's go ahead and go over to our device and take a look at what that's going to show us. Now we're at our device. All right, you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on to run the script to automatically boot into a bootloader mode. So I just clicked on yes, check in ADB status, um, device is connected. It's rebooting into bootloader mode. Okay, we'll see it says fast boot mode right here. Uh, it's now checking fast boot status. All right, so you can see that on the computer screen. Now it says device connected. All right, and it's, uh, now on the computer, you see this here? Well, it'll say both on a computer that you should see a screen on your device um, telling you to unlock bootloader. Um, so it says if you unlock the bootloader, you'll be able to install um, custom operating system software. Yeah, I mean, this is just, this is fantastic. So, you know, I get excited when I see this. Um, so to prevent unauthorized access, you know, whatever, I'm going to unlock my bootloader, may void warranty, ain't no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Well, excuse me, I should have read here. Press volume up, down buttons to select yes or no, then press the power button. Excuse me about that. So I'm going to go ahead and power up to yes, and then I'm going to hit the power button. There we go. So now we're back into this mode and the phone is, or excuse me the tablet is now going to reboot as you can see there's the unlock icon down there below I guess there you go you got your little Android there with its guts open kind of you know pretty much wiping your uh, your tablet clean there and um, once you uh, boot it back up go through your initial setup or um, you can enable USB debug on your device again so we're gonna go ahead when this boots up here we're going to go back to, um, we're going to enable USB debugging and all that other good stuff. Alright. Took a Setup's complete. So here we go. You know, we're pretty much, it's just brand spanking new. If you look at the computer screen, it'll say, press OK to finish the script. Um, you're now ready to go for the routing procedure. Uh, oh, excuse me. So I wanted to put a few things on here so I can show you later exactly what we need to do. All right, I'm going to go to settings down here about tablet, build number. Wait, excuse me. I'm sorry. There we go. Now we're a developer. Let me back up. We want to go to developing options. We want to allow USB debugging. Always allow from this computer. Okay. Now, I'm go back, I'm going to go to security, because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and allow unknown sources to be installed, so we don't have any issues with that, okay? We're all set up on this part. Now I'm going to, I got developer options unlocked, I got um, USB dub debugging turned on, so we're going to go over to the computer, and we're going to go ahead and click OK, and we're going to continue with the rooting process. Now that um, we have unlocked in, uh, our, our tablets and we have um, basically got it ready to go, we're going to go over here to root. We're going to go ahead and root our tablets. So let's go ahead and click on root. All right, uh, script is designed to help you root your device. Yes, you need to be unlocked. We did that already. Press OK to continue. All right, just checking my ADB status and all that stuff. Now it's rebooting back into bootloader mode. Uh, if you look over at your tablet here, I'm not going to um, scan over to it though, but as you can see, it's back into its, um, uh, you'll see it's got a fast boot state and um, my mode there. And it's going to go ahead and add root to our uh, tablet there. And uh, modify boot image, enabling running privilege commands. So this is going to be pretty cool. So now it's going to be waiting for device. If you look over our device now, we'll be restarting. So now we're going to go ahead and go on over to our device. Booting the bootloader mode. There we go. It just took a second there so we can, um, I guess, uh, put in, the, you know, whatever information it was looking for. So fast boot, everything is cool. Now it's booting um, twerp temporarily. 
Uh, one thing I did not click on is a custom recovery over there. Um, that's one thing you should add. We'll go back and we'll add that at the very end here. So uh, as you can see here, here's your recovery. This recovery I'm going to put on there permanently, but it just booted it temporarily. We're going to put that on there permanently. I just failed to click on it over there, and I'll show you back on the computer once this is all done um, to install that. I kind of sorry about that. So I'll come back since this is fully booting. All right, we're back up. Now, if we go here, Super Sue. Okay, we have that. That's fantastic. Go ahead and click on that. At the at the moment, no thanks. So we've got that on there. That's fantastic. I'm gonna go to ES File Explorer. What is this one way I like to check? We'll go down here. See where it says Root Explorer here. Go ahead and turn that sucker on. Yes, grant permission. There you go. You have a rooted tablet. Awesome. Now I can do so much more to this thing. I'm going to go ahead and restore my uh, Android Ice Cold project with all of the apps I had on there and all that other good stuff. We are back to rooted. Now we need to install a custom recovery in order to do this stuff easily and effectively and run backups and restore stuff. So let's move on over to the computer and we're going to go ahead and install that. Okay. Now it says to finish the process and check to make sure you're uh, successfully rooted. Open the Super Sue, make a prompt. Um, uh, it may prompt you to update binaries. Make sure you have stable internet connection. Uh, open the BusyBox installer free. Grant super uh, user permission when requested. Um, so what you can do on your tablet here, you can go back in there and go to your BusyBox. It's, the app is now installed and stuff. You can go in there, grant it permission. Press install to properly configure the essential BusyBox applets. So go ahead and install. And I'm going to just do normal install. All right. It looks like the installation was successful. I go back to our computer and click OK. We need to look at installing this custom recovery. Hopefully, under advanced utilities, we're going to launch this. Here we go. Flash permanent recovery. All right. Okay. If you'll be prompted, select uh, the recovery the recovery you want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and I want the latest twerp, all right? Now, it's, once again, it's checking my ADB status on the phone, or excuse me, tablet. I'm sorry, I keep calling it the phone, but now it's going to reboot back into bootloader mode. All right, you can probably hear my computer making noises here. So it is back over bootloader mode. If you look at your tablet, you'll see the uh, Android with his uh, chest or, you know, the front end of him open. And um, it's going to go ahead and put this stuff flashing recovery 2.7.0.0, pretty much the latest one out there. Uh, you really want that on there. I really, once again, I apologize for not clicking on it down here, over here, if you follow the mouse and under root. But you want to also click on both and just do the do it all at the same time. If not, that's what advanced utilities is for. You can come up here to the middle, and you can hit flash, and you can flash whatever you're wanting to flash on here. So. Now waiting for device. The device is now um, booting up. So let's move over to the device one more time, and I can give you all a view of what I see on the on my tablet. All right. On my tablet here, you will see. This is what I was talking about a minute a second ago. BusyBox. You click on that. And it runs through a bunch of um, um, downloads here, some stuff that helps out the system. I, I'm not too experienced on this just yet, but we've, wor we've already taken care of this stuff, so we really don't have to run that. So we'll just get that out of here. Now, you said, okay, well, um, I got um, my re custom recovery installed, so I would like to go to it and maybe do some stuff to it. So just to make sure that you do have it on here, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to quickly install. Where are we at? Here we go. It's going to be called Recovery Tools. All right, I highly recommend Recovery Tools, it really helps out. Here you go, Recovery Tools. This one right here. We'll go ahead and hit install. Accept. 
open grant super user all right I know the risk all right down there you see it twerp 2.7.0.0 that's awesome there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can look that stuff up, but I'm just going to hit Rebooter, and then I'm going to reboot to recovery right there. So hopefully if everything worked out right, all right, there we go. That's it. So here it is from here. You can do all kinds of really cool stuff. You can install things, all right? You can wipe your system, you can back it up, you can restore, you can do a lot of neat stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot the system, but I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, if there's a uh, delay in some stuff, I'm sorry about that. I'm just putting everything together, hoping you all can see that you can root your Nexus 7 tablet. This one's the 2013, the second edition. So you root and you install Team One Recovery Project so you can put the coolest ROMs all kinds of cool stuff on this tablet and have so much fun. Thank you all for watching. Take care.